Welcome to Lunchtime Movie Critics, the brief weekly podcast that introduces listeners to some of our favorite fun, funky, and fantastic feature films. Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter, a film released in 2001, is a unique blend of horror, comedy, and action that has since gained a cult following for its unconventional approach and campy style. Directed by Lee DeMarbre and starring Phil Caracas as Jesus Christ, this film is a wild ride that combines religious iconography with the vampire genre in a way that is both irreverent and entertaining. The film's premise is as bizarre as it is intriguing. Jesus Christ returns to Earth to battle vampires in modern-day Ottawa. These vampires, however, are not your typical bloodsuckers. They prey specifically on lesbians. The plot is a whirlwind of absurdity, with Jesus teaming up with Mexican wrestling hero El Santo to save the day. The narrative is fast-paced, filled with odd twists and turns that keep the viewer both amused and bewildered. Phil Caracas, as Jesus Christ, delivers a performance that is both earnest and tongue-in-cheek, embodying a character who is at once divine and deeply human. His portrayal of Jesus as a vampire hunter is filled with quirky charm. The dynamic between Jesus and El Santo, as well as the other characters they encounter, is part of the film's odd appeal. Each character, no matter how briefly they appear, adds to the film's eclectic tapestry. The cinematography of Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter is a nod to low-budget filmmaking, with a DIY aesthetic that adds to its charm. The film uses its limitations to its advantage, creating a style that is both retro and self-aware. The fight scenes are choreographed with a sense of fun and flamboyance, and the use of locations around Ottawa gives the film a grounded, almost gritty feel. The film is a masterclass in genre mixing, seamlessly blending elements of horror, comedy, and action. The humor is self-referential and absurd, often breaking the fourth wall and playing with genre conventions. This is not a film that takes itself too seriously, and its willingness to embrace the ridiculous is a large part of its appeal. The soundtrack of Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter is a mix of punk, rock, and other genres that perfectly complements the film's eclectic nature. The music adds to the film's energetic and irreverent tone, enhancing both the action sequences and the more comedic moments. In conclusion, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter is a film that defies easy categorization. It's a cult classic that revels in its absurdity and low-budget charm. The film is a testament to the creativity and fun that can be found in independent filmmaking. While it may not be for everyone, for those who enjoy a dose of irreverence and humor with their horror, this film is a must-watch. It's a unique cinematic experience that reminds us that sometimes the most unconventional stories are the most entertaining.